Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are anxious about their upcoming return to the UK, with Meghan ultimately choosing when the visit will take place. Hello viewers, welcome to Royal Unlock. Please make sure to subscribe and hit the notifications bell, so you don't miss any updates about the British monarchy. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are likely to come back to the UK to celebrate the 10th anniversary of the Invictus Games, with a royal expert analyzing how their visit might be handled. A top royal expert says that Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are feeling anxious about their upcoming return to the UK. Former BBC royal correspondent Jenny Bond spoke to OK about the likelihood of the pair attending a service to commemorate the 10-year anniversary of the Invictus Games in London this May. She discussed why the couple may feel anxious about returning to the UK and how the decision will ultimately be up to the Duchess. Former BBC royal correspondent Jenny stated that she highly doubts Harry would ever push Meghan to do something she is not comfortable with, particularly when he has expressed concerns about their safety in the UK due to the denial of enhanced security measures. It's likely that Meghan is the one who is more assertive in their relationship, and Harry, who loves her deeply, would never risk their marital happiness by pressuring her to do something she doesn't want to do. Jenny added that she believes both Harry and Meghan would be concerned about how Meghan would be received in the UK. While there may still be lingering affection for Harry, Jenny doubts the same can be said for Meghan. Despite this, because both of them are passionate about the Invictus Games, there is a possibility that Meghan may choose to visit the UK briefly on her own accord. Meghan's most recent visit to England was in September 2022 when she and Prince Harry's charity work aligned with Queen Elizabeth II's passing. They attended the funeral and committal service alongside other members of the royal family. Jenny's remarks follow comments made by royal author Tom Quinn to the Mirror, suggesting that Harry is urging Meghan to attend the event. He said to the newspaper that the Invictus Games is a significant part of Harry's life where he feels confident. Being involved in helping disabled soldiers is a positive thing for Harry, and he has made efforts to keep the focus on the cause rather than himself. However, it would be more beneficial for the Sussex brand if Meghan accompanies him. Consequently, he is urging her to participate. This dynamic has created tension in their relationship. According to Omid Scobie's book Endgame, Meghan had previously expressed a desire to never return to the UK, but the upcoming games and Prince Charles's health situation are making her rethink her stance. Meghan may be returning to the UK soon, following the launch of their new website that replaced the Archul site. There has been much discussion about the new website as it includes various references to their former royal lives, including their titles and Meghan's coat of arms. In an effort to unify the family and contribute to their rebranding efforts, the couple surprised many by changing the last name of their children. Prince Archie, 4, and Princess Lilibet, 2, have now adopted the surname Sussex instead of Mountbatten-Windsor, aligning with the royal tradition of using a parent's dukedom as a last name. There has been speculation surrounding Meghan and Harry's plans as their Netflix contract approaches its conclusion next year, with rumors suggesting that it may not be extended. There are talks of the couple exploring other options, such as a potential deal with Paramount Plus. Thanks for watching, please don't forget to subscribe. See you in our next video.